Well, ladies and gentlemen, talk about a somber mood. We are in the far catacombs of Fortune Bay Casino. I am here with the former heavy on wrestling heavyweight champion. I've known the man for a long time, Ken Anderson. First of all, I got to... Oh, man, I, I got to ask you how you're feeling from the looks of things. You're not even here. I'm good. I'm good, man. I'm good. All right, let's talk about what we saw a little bit early on. One of the great... Hey, hey, hey. Mm -hmm. You sure you don't need medical attention here? No, I'm good. All right. Well, keep it in mind, though, please. Let's talk about what we saw just a few minutes ago. Probably the greatest championship match I've seen in heavy on wrestling. The Wrestlepalooza title at stake, the Heavy on Wrestling Championship at stake, the student, you, get, you gonna make it here? The student against the teacher. Tonight, Airwolf crashes the nugget. You're gonna, I'm telling you, you're gonna go here, my friend. Can you focus for one second? You know, I should be mad. I really should be mad, but in actuality, I'm proud of him. All right. Uh, he was my first graduate. I, um, you know, I'm, I might have let, uh, let him get under my skin a little bit. But at the end of the day, um, it, one of the greatest things about being an instructor, about being a coach, is the fact that from time to time, my students actually teach me something. Maybe that happened tonight. Well, certainly the last time out with Heavy on Wrestling, you lit a fire under Airwolf, no question about it. Maybe a little extra motivation. Mm -hmm. What a matchup, as I said. I, I, I know you tried everything. You tried the Canton Bomb. You tried every, I, I haven't seen very many people over the years, kick out from that maneuver. The kid is all hard, I'll, t I'll say that. Actually, I don't think anybody's ever kicked out from that. Amazing. Just amazing. I have to ask you something, though, uh, while, while I'm thinking, and while you're still somewhat coherent here, why in the world, Ken, I've known you many years, would you get in the face of a man like Earl Hebner, the referee? Hey, man, he wasn't, he, he, you, you, come on, man, you saw those counts. Those counts were, Slow, because he's old. He's getting old. Well, Ken, I, I think with all due respect, my friend, I think you put yourself behind the eight ball a little bit. Not only did you get in the face of a, a, perhaps the greatest referee in the history of the yeah, sport. And then, and then did you see what he did to me? I, you I think that's calling it right down the middle? You think I, that's fair? I, I don't. Think it's fair. Yeah. I think you lost focus is what I'm trying to say. Maybe that was the turning point. You might be right. You may be right. You know, I'm looking into your eyes here, Ken, and first of all, before we let you go, and I'm telling you, not a minute too soon, because you better see a physician here. At the very least, I'm telling you, you're concussed. Where does it go for here, from here for Ken Anderson? Are you, in fact, going to seek a rematch against the student for the championship? Definitely. Definitely, definitely, definitely. But I'm not the booker. So... Um... I would like a rematch. I think I'm entitled to a rematch, sure. uh, but we'll see. Ladies and gentlemen, again, you know, not a lot of jubilation going on here right now. Not only did he lose the Heavy on Wrestling Heavyweight Championship, not only did he get his bell rung, not only did he get into it with referee Earl Hebner, all along, all in line, it was not a great night at the office for Ken Anderson, and, and Ken, I'm telling you, Go get some help, my friend. This, the, I'm looking into your eyes, and you're in another zip code. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're Ladies nice. and gentlemen, the former, the former heavyweight champion. My God, be careful. I'm good. Ken Anderson.